My name is George Butcher. I'm an electrical instructor here at Summit College. I teach electrical, a nine-month course that's approved by the DIR, the Department of Industrial Relations. Let me show you around our facilities here at Santa Ana. This is our wooden framework that we do our residential uh, wiring on. And we have all our boxes set up. And I've also uh, taught them to do three-way, four-way switching in pipe and wire. This is pipe with wire in it. And we have a three-way switch here and a series of four-way switches that go throughout the framework. And that way they have an opportunity to see how this stuff would actually work out in the field over a, a larger span of wiring. And as you can tell, uh, they learn how to bend the conduit and put everything together here at Summit. Any employer would be satisfied with the amount of conduit bending that they learn here at Summit College. The, the employers will see that the student comes here to them as an apprentice and is able to bend conduit quite well, like at a journeyman level already from, from day one. I'm gonna walk up to the uh, steel framework that we have right here, which actually represents our commercial uh, framework. And this is a, a main panel for it with a sub panel, which we would work out of the sub panel to feed whatever we're gonna put on this wall more than likely we will put receptacles and lights on it. And I'll teach my students to not only do this in pipe and wire, but they'd also do it in MC cable, which comes with the, with the circuits inside of it. The wires are already inside the cable. And we put that on the uh, walls and show them how to do various supports and everything for their wiring or pipe work. Uh, this is used primarily out in high rise buildings quite a bit. And that's what the students or the uh, apprentices would actually uh, rough in. When they do the rough in on high rises, this is what they use, the steel framework. And we have machine screws that actually will uh, help us with our supports and whatever we put into the wall. This is a firelight control box. And we hook up horns, strobes, and various things for uh, smoke detection and whatnot. We also, uh, have this uh, blue box, which is smart relays, like for lighting contact or control systems and stuff of that nature. We'll hook that up as well. And eventually we'll put some lights up here and have it controlled by the relays in this box. This is a phone system. And we actually teach them how to do punch for telephones and stuff of that nature, because sometimes electricians are required to do that out in the field. This is our motors lab and eventually uh, as we progress through our program, I teach motors. This is a frequency drive for a three-phase motor, and we teach this as well. We'll hook a motor up to it, and we can use, by frequency, we can raise the uh, speed or decrease the speed with the frequency drive, okay? So, as you can see, th these controls are very important for the students to learn because they may go out and acquire a job as, at a refinery or some type of an industrial application like a water treatment facility. We have tests and quizzes that uh, correspond with the motors themselves so that the students learn the inner components of the motors as well. In a situation where I, I would have a student, uh, something's happening, something's arcing or whatnot, I could walk over here and hit this emergency stop and turn everything off, which will even turn that off. Power's killed. Thank you for joining me on our tour here at Summit College. I hope to see you in our class soon. It's important that a student goes to a DRR approved school due to the fact that the DIR, the Department of Industrial Relations, is where they would go to get their training card, okay? They come in, they inspect the school, they see that we're teaching the proper curriculum, and not all trade schools have this, and other schools, you know, eventually the state will look at them and see that they're not really teaching to the standards that the DRR actually requires. And here at Summit, students are getting that knowledge from day one. I had a student that uh, was working in construction doing countertops, granite countertops. He decided that that was no longer for him. So I called a uh, contractor friend of mine and he gave him a job and he's been out in the field now for about two months and he's been doing panel changes, solar, various things in residential. He's very happy with the fact that he got a job and he's still a student. and. Uh, He's making a decent wage and he's really very happy with the fact that 
the skill sets that he learned here at Summit, he's able to apply them out in the field.